Hey YouTube! So today we're going to talk about the spectrum of hotness. There's this insanely popular Chinese dating show called Fei Cheng Wu Rao. Fei Cheng Wu Rao. Literally, unless sincere, do not disturb. In plain English, don't bother knocking on my door if you're in real booth. On the show, there are 24 single ladies whose jobs are to, wait for it, look pretty and judge men. Ladies, can I get a what what? These poor bachelors who come on the show will try so hard to win the hearts of maybe just one of the forgiving Chinese princesses in hopes that they'll fall in love and ride off into the sunset. Because you and I both know that's how TV works. And so on one of the episodes, they actually showed this graph. If you thought Tinder was society's epitome of superficiality, you better hold on to your seat. And if we wanted to be scientific about being superficial, we can rank people. So if you are both well-educated and well-off, one of the hottest commodities on the Chinese dating show, also known as Gao Fu Shui. Gao Fu Shui. Literally, tall, rich, handsome. Or in other words, a unicorn. The female equivalent of that is Bai Fu Mei. Bai Fu Mei. Literally, pale, rich, beautiful. To all the golf Fu Shai and Bai Fu Mei's out there, I would just like to say, have fun making unicorn babies. Moving on to the second quadrant. If you are wealthy and have no thought, you are known as a Tu Hao. Tu Hao. Literally, dirt millionaire. Tu Hao is typically used to describe someone who is potentially from a lower social class or a more rural area and basically exploded into wealth. So even though they've got the money, they haven't got the taste. And they could typically be spotted about a mile away with a giant L on their shirts and a giant V on their pants. Now, if you are someone who has thought but no wealth, you are known as a Wen Yi Qing Nian. Wen Yi Qing Nian. Literally, Cultural youth. A Wen Yi Qing Nian is more or less a hipster going through puberty. Someone who is young, extremely passionate about arts, movies, literature, music, to the point that they're kind of unrealistic and really easily riled up. They live their life as if they're in a Shakespeare play. One moment they're really happy, the next moment they're really sad, and then they're really angry and depressed and all over the place. Visit a coffee shop near a college campus to meet one today. And finally, if you have the great fortune of having neither wealth nor thought, you fall under the category of Diao Si. Diao Si. Basically a loser. Diao Si is basically anyone who is the complete opposite of Gao Fu Shui. Typically describes a man who is poor, short, awkward, never gets the girl, never has the guts to go for the girl, and doesn't really advance in their career. Yeah. So where do you fit on the spectrum? Know someone who is a classic case of one of the four? Pass the video along, like, comment, subscribe, do what you gotta do, and I'll see you next time, unicorns!